hello everyone in the last lecture we have seen how to draw the velocity polygon for the slider crank mechanism in relative velocity and acceleration method also we have determined unknown velocities of collecting rod bc and velocity of slider from velocity polygon now in today's lecture we will proceed with acceleration polygon and learn how to determine the unknown angular acceleration of connecting rod BC as well as sliding acceleration of slider C. So first of all we will make a table here to find out the values of centripetal and tangential accelerations. Now first take link AB for AB we are taking radius of rotation as the length of link 0 0.075 in meters and its angular velocity is given as 100 radian per second so tangential component for link AB so tangential component of B relative to A is equals to R into omega square 0 0.075 into 100 square so it becomes 750 meter per second square. FTBA tangential component of B relative to A will be zero because alpha BA is not given. So we'll assume that link AB rotates with uniform speed. Now for link BC, we are considering that C rotates about B so when C rotates about B, radius of rotation is length of link BC which is equal to 0.225 meters. Angular velocity of link BC is 34.2 which we have determined in the last lecture. So centripetal <coughs> component of C when it rotates about B is equal to R into omega square. So 0 0.225 into 0.225 into 34.2 square it is 263 meter per second square and tangential component of C relative to B is equals to radius of rotation BC into alpha CB which is not known. Next link is slider C which slides relative to G so this does not apply for slider slider will only have sliding acceleration which is to be determined it will not have radial or centripetal component as well as tangential component of acceleration so it will only have sliding acceleration now let us start plotting the acceleration polygon we will follow the same sequence as we have done for velocity polygon in velocity polygon we have plotted the velocity vector zero length velocity vector for fixed link <coughs> because it is fixed since it is fixed it's both the components of acceleration will be zero so again we'll mark a point to represent the zero length vector for fixed link ag the next First component of acceleration for link AB is FCBA, centripetal or radial acceleration of B relative to A. Now when I say FCBA, we are assuming that B rotates about A. So when B rotates about A, its radial acceleration will be directed towards the center of rotation A. And it will be parallel to radius of rotation AB. So this will be the direction of FCBA. And the length of vector will be 750 millimeter per second square. <coughs> so in vector uh, acceleration polygon, length of FCBA is 750 and its direction is parallel to BA. And it is acting towards A. So let us draw this vector vectors parallel to AB so I will draw a line parallel to AB
through point A because we know that FCBA its direction is parallel to PA and the vector will start at A or end at B we have the start point A with us it is here so we have to start this vector in this direction at point A so that's why I will place this vector at point A now it is in downward direction towards A and its length is 750 so I will take some scale let us take scale of 1 centimeter equals to 100 meter per second square so FCBA is 750, now it's become now it becomes 7.5 centimeters. 750 divided by scale factor 100. So this is the vector representing FCBA. Now FTBA is tangential component is zero. So FCBA itself becomes the resultant of FBA, which will be represented by vector AB. Total acceleration of B relative to A represented by vector AB. Now next vector is FCCB. Centripetal acceleration of C relative to B. So centripetal acceleration of C relative to B will act along the radius of rotation CB and towards the center of rotation B. Radial acceleration of C relative to B because C rotates about B. So this is the direction of FCCB and length of vector is 2.63 centimeters and the vector will start at B. We know the point B so we'll draw this vector in such a way that its tail lies at point B. So this is the line representing FCCB. Its length is 2.6 centimeters upwards. So this is FCCB. Now to FCCB we have to add its tangential component FTCB. And we know that tangential component is always perpendicular to its centripetal component. So let us draw the tangential component perpendicular to centripetal component. Now length of this vector is unknown because we don't know the magnitude of FTCB as well as we don't know whether the vector will go upwards or downward because we don't know the direction of alpha CB. So I have just drawn line of action of FTCB which is perpendicular to FT. Uh, FC CB. So this is FTC. The next vector is FSCG, sliding acceleration of C relative to G. It will be parallel to the line of stroke of slider. Like this. And the vector will pass through G. So let us draw a line parallel to line of stroke of slider passing through G. So this is the line of action of sliding acceleration of C relative to G. <coughs> now read the names of vectors. FTCB, this vector is passing through C. This vector is also passing through C. So point of intersection of both these lines locates my point C. Now to mark the arrows, we will again read the names of vectors. FSCG, sliding acceleration of C relative to G. Since this is acceleration of point C, we mark the arrow towards C because FSCG will be represented by vector GC, vector G to C. Now FCCB and FTCB, we need to add FTCB to FCCB. So when we are adding the vectors, we have to place the tail of vector with the head of another vector. So this is head of FCCB. So here should be the tail of FTCB. So arrow will be towards C. Now FCCB plus FTCB is FCB. Total acceleration of C relative to B. 
So total acceleration FCB will be represented by vector B to C. So arrow towards C. This completes my acceleration polygon. Now let us do some calculations to determine the unknown angular velocity of link BC. So from this equation, I get alpha CB equals to FTCB divided by BC. So alpha CB equals to, what is FTCB? It is magnitude of tangential component of C relative to B, which is equal to length of vector representing FTCB. So length of vector XC will be magnitude of FTCB into the scale factor of acceleration diagram divided by BC. So this is equals to, let us measure the length of vector representing tangential component. It is 3 centimeters. 3 into scale factor is 100 meter per second square and length of connecting rod BC is 0.225 meters. So this is equals to 300 divided by 0.225. So 300 divided by 0 0.225 1333. So this is equals to 1333 radian per second square. So this is angular acceleration of connecting rod in magnitude. Now what about its direction? The direction of alpha CB depends on direction of FTCB, vector FTCB. So look at the direction of FTCB. FTCB is going upwards. So C relative to B is going upwards. So C relative to B, when it goes upwards, acceleration is counterclockwise. Now sliding acceleration of slider FSCG will be given by length of vector GC into scale factor. And let us measure the length of vector GC. It is 7.5. So 7.5 into scale factor is 100. So this is equals to 750 meter per second square. Centripetal acceleration of C relative to G. So we have done with the solution. We have determined unknown velocities and unknown accelerations of the connecting rod and the slider by drawing velocity and acceleration polygons. So this is the solution, thank you.